Hello, today we are going to talk about how decision trees handle numerical or continuous features. Let's think about this on an example. Let's see the content of the data frame here. There are four different features, outlook, temperature, humidity and wind, and uh, that's the target column decision. It stores the goal playing decisions based on those features. As you might remember, a decision tree algorithm looks for the feature offering the highest information gain. If the highest one is a categorical feature, for example Outlook, then the tree will create three different branches because Outlook feature has three distinct classes, sunny, overcast and rain. But it would be different for continuous or numerical features. Let's focus on the just humidity feature and ignore others. Here I'm going to drop the sum features. Data frame is equal to data frame and get just humidity and decision columns. Let's run this block again. As seen, uh, now just humidity feature exists in the data frame. Let's see the unique values of the humidity feature. I'm going to get humidity feature and get its unique values. I can actually sort them as well. Now I would like to transform this data set to a binary classification task. For example, let's set a threshold here. For example, it could be 70. Then get data frames, humidity column and uh, check the check this column is less than or equal to the this threshold value and if it's satisfied then get its index values here i'm going to create a temporary data frame and its initial value is equal to the regular data frame and here i'm going to call a log function and here I'm going to pass the index values and set uh, its humidity column to its less than or equal to the threshold value. On the other hand, here I'm going to initialize this humidity column as that's greater than the threshold value. Let's see the temporary data frame. As seen, a humidity column is converted to the binary classification uh, series. Now I'm going to use ChefBoost framework. Uh, you can actually install it with pip install ChefBoost command. And if you have already installed it, then you should import it just like that from chefboost.training and import that training module. Here I'm going to call training module.findGains function and here I'm going to pass temporary data frame and also configuration file. Let's set the configuration file here. It's a dictionary and expects the algorithm name. Let's set it to ID3. This is the game value and let's print the game value here. Here I'm going to get the gains K because I just wonder the this game value. Then get its humidity values at gain is 0 0.01 let's print the threshold value here as well the gain value is 0 0.01 for uh, threshold is equal to 70 let's convert this block to a function 
for example let's name it find gain and pass threshold value and here I'm going to call find gain function and pass the threshold value 70 now I'm going to uh, store the unique values here print them here here I'm going to build a for loop for i in unique values uh, let's print i value first here I'm going to call find gain function and pass i value as input it will calculate uh, the gain values for all uh, threshold candidates finally decision tree algorithm determines the feature offering the highest information gain which is 80 in this example let's print the temporary data frame here and instead of passing all threshold candidates I'm going to call find gain function and pass the winning one which is 80 as then this is the uh, final form of the data frame so we have mentioned how to handle numerical or continuous features in decision tree algorithms thank you all for watching and see you next time